Hi VC, James here. Welcome to another video. This is another Vinyl Finds video. Um, I didn't end up doing one uh, in May. I do try and do a Vinyl Finds update once a month, but sometimes time gets in the way or I've just made too many of other kinds of videos so I don't get round to it. I've got a big backlog. I've got a wodge, as Graham would say. So um, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you, this is kind of the, f uh, the first instalment really in uh, what may end up being a fairly long running set of videos because I had this really amazing um, haul from Oxfam. Um, somebody had basically dumped their entire collection in my local Oxfam and it was a really, really good collection. You know, it was uh, a, lot, a lot of good 80s stuff all in really good condition and the amazing thing is is that I actually got the fag end of it because I went into the shop on a Monday afternoon and it was obvious almost as soon as I walked in and saw the records that there was something special going on because it wasn't just the usual tat there were some really interesting things there but it turned out that the collection had been brought in the previous week and most of it had been put on display and had been picked through all weekend so I was really just getting the very end of it so there were some grails there was some just good impulse buys uh, all kinds of good stuff so today I'm going to show you just a few things and then I will do another video showing you some more things and then there might well be another video after that um, so what I'll do today I'll quickly run through just some of the more casual fun kind of impulse purchases and then I'll show you three records all by one band and you'll know what that band is because you'll have seen the title of the video um, so let's quickly run through the more casual ones that I've got um, Easy Rider soundtrack when I was in my early 20s I used to really dig this soundtrack I used to listen to it me and my friend used to listen to it and we used to get out of our heads to be honest and we used to listen to it on a Friday night and um, we used to have this computer program that made fractals and it used to kind of do these amazing like you know, visual fractals on the screen and we used to queue up um, Born to be Wild uh, and just just blast our heads all night with this stuff you know just one of the all-time great soundtracks I couldn't resist picking that up uh, it was dead cheap it was 2 .99. wonderful I mean Stepping Wolf you can't go wrong can you so again, just cheap and cheerful ones, just an animal's best of. Hi to Lise, she's been showing a lot of good animal stuff recently. This is just an MFP comp, you know. Um, again, just a comp, uh, The Nice. Um, I'm a big fan of The Nice. I, I, I'm not so keen on ELP, but I love The Nice. My favourite track of theirs is Diamond Hard Blue Apples of the Moon. Uh, which I've known for many years. I used to have that on a CD compilation of kind of classic British psych stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I just love the nice, that kind of bombastic faux classical stuff with all the organ and uh, great, great drumming, great ensemble performances. Just one of the brilliant, most sort of virtuosic kind of late 60s British bands. Um, a T Rex comp. Again, these are just cheap and cheerful things, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing special. Again, MFP. Martin Parrott and I talk a lot about MFP. One of the most idiosyncratic, kind of uh, lovable British labels of all time, I think. They, I mean, they put out so much tat, but they also put out so much great stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so there's just a few cheap and cheerful finds, just to give you an indication of just the kind of casual stuff that was there, that you just kind of pull out and go, yep, I'll have that, yep, I'll have that, yep, I'll have that. Okay, so let's move on to the main event. So you'll have seen from the um, thumbnail and the title of this video that I picked up some records by That Petrol Emotion. When I first went in there, I think I found one, went through, found another one. And then there was a third one there and I thought, well, two's enough. And I was just about to walk out of the shop and I thought, what am I doing? What, why on earth would I bu buy two that Petrol Emotion records and leave one behind? So I went straight back and picked up the third one. Okay, that Petrol Emotion, not a band that I've ever had in my collection before, either on CD or on record. 
obviously I knew about them, I knew about their history, I had heard some of their stuff before. There was a very good Undertones documentary released quite a long time ago now, I think it was a John Peel one, so I was aware of the history of the band, but I didn't have any of their records and these are all in pristine condition. So just a bit of background, the petrol, that Petrol Emotion um, are a Northern Irish band uh, but with a North American vocalist, Steve Mack, and they're basically a kind of outgrowth uh, of the undertones. Uh, the band originally formed in 1984 from the ashes of the Derry Hitmakers, Barn Bam and The Calling and The Undertones, formed by guitarist John O'Neill and second guitarist Raymond Gorman. Uh, and they brought in a sort of charismatic American uh, singer called Steve Mack and they released in, the, in their history from 1986 through to a live album in the year 2000. One, two, three, six albums. Their influences encompass artists as diverse as The Beatles, Africa Bombata, Television, Sly and the Family Stone, Captain Beefheart and Can. That's according to Wikipedia. But I detect other influences in there. Kind of classic post-punk things, things like th that Steve would be into, Flipside CT, you know, there's a bit of Joy Division in there, there's a bit of um, uh, The Cure, Echo and the Bunny Men. Um, yeah, I mean, I have listened to all three of these albums quite a few times now. Let's just go through them and I'll show you what they are. The first one uh, is Babel. And this was their, I believe, second album. Uh, the first album being Manic Pop Thrill, which is one of the ones I don't have. Basically, I have albums two, three and four. So this is Babel, album number two, released by Polydor uh, in 1987. And this one got to number 30 in the UK charts. You get the insert. And what you tend to get on that Petrol Emotion records is some sort of political... Um, information on the inside sleeve. I mean they were a very political band, Northern Ireland and so on. I mean this one has a bit of uh, bump about the Prevention of Terrorism Act, how it was used extensively to harass Irish people living in Britain and to deter them from political activity. I wouldn't say the songs, I mean the songs don't seem to have an overtly political bent. I haven't really studied the lyrics too intently. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Uh, but certainly, the way the albums are packaged and the liner notes and so on, you can kind of see that there was an agenda there of some kind, political agenda. You can't see that very well. I mean, they were kind of from the 80s, you know, and there was a lot of stuff in the 80s. Obviously, it was the era of, you know, political rock, wasn't it? Um, so, now this album, Babel, I think of all three of them, it's the most overtly post-punk one. I can definitely hear shades of um, Echo and the Bunny Men, uh, The Cure, that kind of thing. Good songs, quite abrasive textures and so on. Um, definitely a keeper. I mean, all three of them are keepers and they're just in lovely condition. Uh, so that's Babel. Okay, so the next one is from uh, 1988. Got to number 53 in the charts. They never particularly enjoyed um, really good chart action. You know, they were not a big hit band. But I think they were quietly influential, and we'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, so this is End of the Millennium Psychosis Blues. And you can see, again, they're very, very attractive records. Lovely sleeve designs, you know, and, and just such good condition. You know, I really just could not leave them there. And again, we have an insert and lyrics and again we have some political bump um, I don't want to read it all out to you now but there's talk here on the back of you know the civil rights movement of 1968 a civil rights march in Derry uh, in Ireland and there's talk of you know high unemployment job discrimination just a political minded band you know really now this album um, one of the sort of strands of post-punk was an interest in kind of, you know, funk and that kind of thing. It was a kind of black music influence crept in. I'm thinking of bands like um, the pop group and that kind of thing. Uh, and this record certainly contains elements of that. Um, it's kind of got a funkier feel to it, slight, you know, slightly more dancey. 
This may well be the uh, my preferred album of the three. Um, it's just got a kind of groove quality to it. Um, I'll show you the record. I don't believe I did. No, it's just it's not a particularly interesting label. So that's End of the Millennium uh, Psychosis Blues. And then finally, uh, let's have a look. The next one, Chemic Crazy, released by Virgin now. And this only got to number 62 in the charts. Okay, now this one is, of the three, I'd say the most mainstream. It sounds more like they're trying for kind of radio hits. Really strong songs though, I mean there's a, uh, there's a song on here called um, Sensitize which has got a great hook to it. Of all the albums this one is the most hooky. It sounds like they were going more for that kind of you know mainstream approach. We have another insert, we don't have much politics on this one but they have these very busy kind of inserts and you can see the lyrics there. And let me show you the record label on this one. see it very well there. Um, yeah, so of the three albums, probably that one contains more sort of catchy songs, straight down the line, guitar based rock. So broadly speaking, I'd say the first one, post-punk, the second one, post-punk, edging into kind of funk and dance territory, and this one heading to really towards a kind of alt-rock, but with mainstream leanings. All three of them, really good records definitely keepers for the collection and I think in their way a significant band um, I'll just read you what it says here I, I mean I just got this stuff from Wikipedia you know um, their body of work remains critically acclaimed within the music press it is widely agreed that the, that that petrol emotion left a lasting influence on the Britpop scene the Manchester movements specifically on such artists as the Stone Roses Happy Mondays and the Manic Street Preachers and I didn't mention that before, but you can I can hear that. Particularly in, perhaps in the second album, actually, where you've got that dance thing creeping in. Funkier beats and shuffles and so on, which makes you think of the Stone Roses and the kind of early Happy Mondays. So even though they were not a band that kind of became really huge, I think they did have an influence and just one of those kind of classic bands, really. Um, great to have in the collection. Um, I just couldn't leave them there and I suspect a fair few people on the VC would have been in the same position as me if they'd seen these records, all three of them. What a shame the whole collection wasn't there, but um, you know you can't complain can you when you pick up something as nice as that. So there we go, um, I'll be back soon for uh, another instalment of this kind of mega haul. Um, so in the meantime, thank you very much uh, to all subscribers old and new. I passed my 600 subs um, mark a couple of weeks ago. I was going to have a contest, but I, there are so many contests on the VC at the moment. I just I kind of felt like people were starting to get a bit contested out from what I read in the comments. So I decided not to go for a contest. But I just want to say a big, big thank you to uh, all all my subscribers. I'm, I'm kind of watching so many new people all the time on the VC. I do want to do a proper shout out video and mention some of the channels that I've been enjoying. Um, so I'll do that in due course as well but for the moment I hope you enjoyed this update that petrol emotion and um, some other cheap and cheerful finds see you soon VC have a great weekend bye bye